手置きを見せてやる Alright, so in this one, we are going to be seeing Ultra Super Vegito with him not having the boost. If we go to PP here, we do check out the boost characters. We go through and look. Feature boost, Ultra Vegito has now vanished from it. He is now in C tier, along with Dragon Fist, along with Tapion. Those are going to be the next two videos, one Dragon Fist, one Tapion. Again, to see how they can do off their boost, to see where they are now, is in C tier, as Vegito is right there, Dragon Fist, and Tapion. Along with other characters that came around their time, I think Free-to-Play Gogeta, and some others in that realm. But, just to mention two things, um, I just have him in the front here because he looks cool, and obviously it's his video, but in reality, Gogeta's leader slot, because we have a Batara bench, and, uh... Well, or Vegito bench, whatever this guy is for his extra bench. Um, what is it? It's for Vegito's, yeah. So Gogeta obviously leader slot, so he gives and gets all of that. Vegito, um, anyway, is going to get most of his ultra ability. Appreciate the drill, by the way. Um, that's one thing to mention. Other two things to mention is, thank you. We have now hit 15,000 subscribers. And if you are new and enjoy the content and aren't subscribed, feel free to subscribe as we are on our way to get to 16,000, 20,000, 30,000. All these big numbers, probably at 16,000, because 16 actually is my favorite number. Uh, it has some significance to me as my childhood and just growing up. Probably will do a costume type of video, as I've done before, for a... Uh, I believe the milestone was 5K that I did the costume video. So, yeah, um, probably at 16,000, we'll do a costume video. I know it sounds like an awkward number, but that's my favorite number. So, 16,000 subscribers, when we get there... You guys will pick the costume. We'll do a video on that. I mean, honestly, it's going to be... Um, it's going to be probably around the time of Halloween where it seems we might hit 16K if we do hit it. So, yeah, we'll be doing all that. And just to say, uh, we're going to do summons because I did all the uh, raid stuff already because I have the highest drops I could get with having 5-star Thousand, with having all these, you know, high-star units just being a whale as I am. Have these seven tickets here. Gonna do all of them. So if you want to skip that, feel free to. I don't personally enjoy, you know, watching summons, so I would skip it if I were you. <laughs> Obviously, the Ultra Vegeta showcase will happen after this, but you know how he's gonna do. Probably he's a top six unit. He's really only top six because Cooler came out. Cooler hard stops him, and then from there on, he just has his whole team get screwed over because of Cooler's existence. With him being a yellow Super Saiyan, it hurts the blue Super Saiyans that would be on his team and or blue units in general being on his team. So. Vegito, probably still a top six unit, not changing much in movement, but obviously after the matches, we will see some play with them. Given early season, it still will matter to a, uh, well, I guess rating him threshold, but again, summons here, got one ticket on Cooler, we'll do that at the end, and I'll do these seven, I think this is the peak tickets you can have now again. Do the raid, um, doing the raid gets you the Hoi Poi, getting the Hoi Poi is what gets you this. These are guaranteed summons of, well, something. Hopefully I get a sell here. I think I need 2 to 14 star him. Full power freeze enough 14. And I think that's actually about it. Let me just get into this. Again, summons. I think they're like mid. <laughs> I will never do like a summon video on its own. I think it's just very uh, boring. I've tried and it's just, I get bored even doing it. I'm just like, oh, summons. <gasps> Great. Actually, let me put on my headphones so I can hear what's happening. Because I like to hear some animations sometimes as well. Because without these headphones, I wouldn't be hearing jack shit. So... Pull, I think it's what EX guaranteed in every single step. I wonder what the latest EX is. I mean, I'll probably find out from these summons, right? Okay, again, we're sparking here. I wonder what sparking's. I should probably. I'm gonna check the banner. I'm gonna check the banner. There's six more multis to go. I'm gonna check the banner after this. Okay, what is this? <laughs> okay, well, it, I wouldn't need eight Vegeta anyways, so that's fine. These look like all very old EXs. Oh god. Is this. Because I only have like. A few that I need, obviously. Um, maybe up to the headliner EXs it could have. I I'm hopeful because I need to see now. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Well, what, what do we got here? Okay, feature characters. Yeah, I didn't mean to click that. Um, Z Power List. What do we have? We have obviously the LFs. Oh, Broly. Broly just got 14. Beerus, Riza, they all just got 14. Sparkings, don't care about because I really have all of them. 14. EXs, what are you? Please scroll faster than this. EXs? Um, okay. It's all useless ones. So it's only the LS that are useful to me here. I kind of figured, but I was hopeful they add uh, more updated characters to this, right? 
oh well, first one, a dud. Hopefully get some luck. I've seen people get a lot of luck on this, so... If I get at least one cell, I'd be happy. I assume you can't get the rolling animation since it is LS on the damn banner. I need to take a spurt of this coffee here. Because I need some, uh, some goodness. Only slept a little bit, like 40 minutes. <laughs> so, <laughs> had a quick nap. But quick naps actually are good because you get to like back into the action. So much back into the action that I'm drinking coffee to really help me out with it. It has espresso shots still. Hmm. This is all trash. Understandable. Well. <laughs> so people got lucky on this, huh? Two multis deep. I've got a uh, green ape Vegeta. It's a good sign. By the way, these uh, boosted units, I guess, like for the drops of Hoi Poi and the uh, metal drops. I think like most of them that aren't related to recency and dropping of like Cooler and Cell and all these characters... I think most are related to, like, a broly S character. I think it's, like, a blue Super Saiyan Gohan or uh, EX... Wait, no, that EX Trunks... Is he related to Broly? No, that's from Tapion. Never mind, I don't know jack shit. But I know a lot of them actually are related to a Broly-esque movie, if not movies in general. So with it being movies in general, you know, P.O. Buff, Janemba, Broly, whoever is the next Ultra, probably is uh, somewhere hidden in that uh, little you know, mismatch of all those units. I have a sparking coming up. Can it be something I actually care about, or am I going to get a dud again? Please? Oh! No! Damn it! He's 14. <laughs> I got a 14 recently. All right, well, three walls he's deep, and I've had jack shit. I mean, for myself. I left Broly realizing that desired anyways, so. Jack shit. This is tough. One pod. I I'm skipping this. The animation doesn't even fucking matter for the most part. Oh! <laughs> well! <laughs> Why'd I get happy thinking that was gonna be something good? <laughs> yeah, when you only need a few things, it's not... Like, these are fine. They're free coins, I guess. It's whatever. Free summons. Can't really, like, reject it. Just kind of embrace it. But it's, like... These are, for, like, 99.9% .9 of the summons I'll get are null and void. I mean, for most people, they might not even that bit be that useful because, again, you're not really... You're not really looking for most of these characters that are going to be some of the actually pull. Nimbus means LF. For this, because only featured units are LF. So this is actually an LF guaranteed. And two sparkings, obviously, because it's Super Saiyan Blue. Okay. Well, rolling animation. <laughs> again, LF guaranteed I can't get a rolling animation? Really? I can tell you it's going to be an LF right now. It will be an LF in this. 100% money back guarantee you could have my account if I'm wrong at this point. <laughs> guarantee you, it's an LF. Somewhere in this, somebody featured. Woo! Damn it! Ape! You fucking bastard! <laughs> oh, and the same EX back to back. All right, where's my second sparking? Who are you? All right, great stuff. Damn it, bro. Come on. Three of these same dumbass EX. Bro, what? <laughs> All right. Well, um, we got two more. You know, it sucks jeering or the droids aren't on this or something like that. Could use those. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, just play it out. Whatever. Maybe I can pull a cooler after, you know, this uh, little tidbit of summons here. Maybe. I did pull a cooler on a ticket once, I think. Was that a cooler? I think it was. <laughs> I hope it was, because I want to pull another one if I did. It's going to be all trash. But I don't want to skip, because if it's an LF, I actually want... No. So, um... <laughs> or full power Frieza, because he's not 14. Don't care if he's really, like, not great. Still not 14. I don't want to skip. I don't want to skip. Okay. In total, it didn't really shaft me, I could say, right? Because... I did get two LFs already. And it's not bad, RNG. It's just, I don't need them. It's just that I don't need them. So it's it's good RNG mixed with, uh, you summon too much RNG. EX Jiren, what a desired guy for so long. Not really anymore. Power creep. Mm-hmm. 
You know, I would say I wasted my time doing the raid, but, uh, got so many resources anyways that, okay, got shafted on those. It is what it is. Let us go on. There's gonna be more tickets. Clearly, the banner's still there. The 70's not the peak. I think you have to do, like, daily missions and all this bullshit. You know, eventually we'll get more tickets, though. So, not worried about it. I think the big majority I used, but eventually. Okay. It's a sparking guaranteed, Goku. You don't have to get your ass beat. Enough theatrics going on here. You, you just love a show, huh? Hero fake out. Oh my god, who would have knew? Wow. Whoa. All right. Fuck you. <laughs> Fucking PyCon. <laughs> Fucking PyCon. <laughs> With that being said, let's get into the match and see how... You know what? Let's play his intro. Let's see how Ultra Super Vegito can do in PvP without his boost. This was a long intro because I did not know someone's go that long. Apologize. Now let's see uh, the showcase. Vegito. Again, apologize for the drill. First match is LOE. I didn't show off the equipment because that intro was very long, so I'll show it out after this match. If you are curious what equipment I am running. And yes, this team can easily still work out uh, the setup I'm running right here. Obvious, because your blast pace team is going to have blast starts, and uh, you don't want to do strike there. You're spooked out by Vegito Man, and now Vegito Man's going to come in and beat your ass, man. Enjoy! Again, Ultra Vegito really won't dip in much capacity. I can't see it. Um, unless he's countered out, right? But, like, as an individual unit, this man is not dipping down. Like, it's just not gonna be something that happens. But Mecha Frieza, showing why he's actually tanking against Ultra Vegito there, which is crazy to say, but yeah, he was doing that. Survive Bell, pop main. No? Okay, I will back dash. Let's tap. Well, you're dead. I mean, you get to pick who's dead, actually. Golden Man or Mecha Man? Golden Man! Maybe Mecha wasn't back. I think he was barely not back, which is, you know, unfortunate. But again, I'll show you the equipment after this. Um, good luck. Yeah, okay, well. <laughs> good thing it's a short first match because the intro is so long with the summons, but... Yeah, I want to do the summons. I'd rather just get them on camera than not. People like to see at least some portion of me getting, like, okay, he had a fucking 8-star Dragon Fist. Today he has a 14-star. Where did we go? <laughs> like, how did we get here? <laughs> Clearly. Summoned, right? Just spam something, though. Um, but equipment, team-wise, uh, Vegito's peak equipment, I'm a little hazy on. I know the first two equipment are peak for him, like, guaranteed for that. Third one, I don't know if it's the Majin Buu Saga plot. I don't know if it's that Vegito one that gives a high strike. Both of them give high strikes. I just gave him this because it's also, like, near equivalent. Those give 35%. This is 32% at, uh, basically, peak potential, right? And it gives ultimate damage instead because he goes neutral on ultimate. So I just figured give him this. Maybe it's not peak. I don't know. It's one of those three equipments. Again, does it really matter too much? It's 3% base. Not really, but yeah, he has that. Um, the bench, double attack from Name of Goku. Uh, Red Vegito's, I believe, double defense, then strike attack to Vegito's. Super Vegito is HP, then strike attack defense. Vegito Blue, strike attack defense. Ultra Vegito's double defense, then special damage inflicted. And then Ultra Gogeta, special damage inflicted. And strike arts damage inflicted and defense. With the Ultra Vegito not being a leader slot, though, he is losing 5% on his Ultra ability because we have Namek, uh, Namek Goku Bench to Zenkai buff both the Blue Boys there of uh, Gogeta and Vegito Blue. So if you are wondering, the Zenkai buff is just more frugal for the entire team with uh, Vegito just missing 5% on his Ultra ability. He'll be fine. He's not going to cry about it. He's still supplying these debuffs, doing all these crazy things. As you saw right there, literally no difference in anything at all because he debuffs so much. You don't notice this 15% missing this defensiveness really missing like maybe in some circumstance a very niche one you'll see it but in most he's still debuffing he's still gonna nuke them he's still gonna have your allies nuke them because he's debuffing the entire team and that's gonna retain and stay and he's always gonna have that no a pure is not a uh, peak on this guy by the way you might wonder like on well, this pure it's peak no peers actually aren't peak on him i'm not sure why but they aren't like test it they're actually not he actually does worse off so run this instead now, let's continue on with the matches. First match, it's Ultra Vegito. Do you expect him to be bad again? Doesn't really make sense. If you do, top of these 14 stars with 14 stars all around him. Can't really be a bad Ultra at that. Well, <laughs> Kyle can live. He's not even that bad. It's just that his team's really bad around him. Which, Vegito does not have a bad team around him. These are all top 10 units around him. Which, well, the top three at least. Which is pretty damn good. 
what is this uh, early season? Again, mismatched teams, they're gonna happen. You're gonna see them. Can't really control it. If I could, well, I would, but we can't. So we flow with it because there's literally nothing else you can do. This should kill, All right? I have a blue card thing on him as well. That sucks. Can I? Oh, couldn't tap there. Okay. Oh, oh God, Dragon Fist. See, yikes. <laughs> a mismatch team. I'm not sure the stars in this guy, but uh, hope my 14 star tomorrow looks a little bit better than this guy is right here. Actually, it really wasn't the worst damage. It wasn't that good, but it wasn't the worst. How did Vegeta Blue not kill? I have a blue card damage equip on him. For that specific scenario, for like that snipe potential that he can't offer sometimes, right? Didn't really get that snipe there, did I? Okay. Uh, we'll go to you, do a little bit of a strike into another strike. I'm going to drop. I think Dragon Man's back. I can count! Lo and behold, I've learned the art. <laughs> Dragon Man, you are, uh, as the young kids say, getting cooked. Is that how you say it? Because he is, in fact, getting cooked. Uh, he got very much cooked. All right. That's not a good sign. Wow. I'm not going to Zenkai about these units, by the way, when they're getting showcased off boost. I, I want to see their raw potential. I know Dragon Fist is probably like that one out of the three. It's like, you know, probably should have him Zenkai buff because at that point he has good benches. But no. No. I want to see rawness. I could have this guy Zenkai buffed. I could bullshit the fuck out of Ultra Vegeta and be like, yeah, you guys don't have Super Vegeta Zenkai? Oh, well, <laughs> too bad, so sad. You should use him. Like, you know, it's just, it's just dumb shit at that point, so. Rather the raw dog scenario. Ah. And I also love this with Mr. VB, just uh, the little potentials of getting these rats out of the way, getting your sidesteps off. Well, get your kill off, Mr. VB. And it's up to Dragon Man. What can he do? Really didn't have to wait for that. I could just drew it in rush, but... Theatrics. Why do we have to have them? We don't. Kill him. Thank you. Imagine he didn't kill there. Holy shit. That would be... Now that'd be something. But yeah. I'm gonna run them without any kind of I know. Dragon Fist can't have them. DBZ Brolies, Super... Um, not Super. Uh, Spear Palm Absorb Goku. Does he have another? I'm sure he... No, Super Saiyan 3. Um, OG... Goku, that Zenkai. Like, he has a bunch, but, like, you ain't there for that. You're not there for peak power, unfeatured boost. Like, isn't that just just ass backwards, right? Because at that, that point, they're just artificially buffing them, just like feature boost had done prior. But nonetheless, again, Vegito's not gonna move. Like, if there's one unit that's not moving anywhere, it's Vegito. Again, he didn't get bad to where he lowered in his own placement. It's that cooler exists. Thankfully, it's early season, so we're not running into cooler, not facing this uh, threat of why he moved, but cooler exists. Look at my team. You know, there's a bunch of Super Saiyans. I have at least four Super Saiyans here, technically five with Namek Goku transforming. Uh, or, well, three, actually. Vegeta Blue's not Super Saiyan, but he gets counted out because I have Super Saiyans, and I'm always going to bring Super Saiyan into a match. There's kind of the dilemma because Vegito being uh, ultra, sure, I guess. Um, harder to pull, maybe. That's an ultra problem. <laughs> but him being yellow, him being a Super Saiyan, again, what he does is rather kill your team than help your team in that specific scenario of cooler existence. But without cooler existence, you don't really have any dilemma. Like, Vegito's still number one if you don't run into a cooler. When you do run into a cooler, which is quite frequent when you, you know, play a little bit more, um, there's your problem. We're not there yet. So we're going to see number one Vegito for now. And that's nice to see. Oh, early season, brother. Early goddamn season. If I can't specify that, I could show it. And uh, I think I'm showing it very proper with this match. I don't even know what the point of that was. You had advantage. Like, technically, you had advantage at that point. Yeah, more so you would have had neutral anyways. I guess VB's tankier since he is a Zenkai. I mean, I can't can't deny that logic. You know, VB being immune is tough. It's very sad. But then him just applying his debuffs to everybody because he says, fuck your entire team, is funny from Mr. Ultra Vegito. Ah! This isn't funny, this is sad. Swap! Go, Vados! I choose you! Um... 
again, like I've said like six times so far in this video, nothing's really changing about Vegito unless you're running into a cooler. Why the hell? You don't think he lives this. You're not thinking he lives this when you did that swap. What were you thinking? You weren't. Why would you do that? Who's going to do damage on your team? It ain't Vados. No, it ain't. Oh, you didn't even try to swap. You didn't even give a fuck about Vados. Okay, well, yeah, match is over. Do you give up? Oh, auto dodge. All right. Oh, auto dodge. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no auto dodge on that one. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, yeah. Shockingly, the Ultra, you know, the number one with boost Ultra is looking like a number one without boost Ultra. We're not in certain matchups. By the way, this is quick. I went over it in the slug showcase, but, you know, that video is like all jumbled. I'm fucking exhausted. Like, it's all exhausted. But, like, you know, I'm just saying shit to, like, say shit at that point because I'm just out of it. Um, it's solid. It really is. But every PO unit has better equips. Whether it be the droids have their, you know, Android Saga Plat or Cooler has all these Awakened equips or literally like 99%. I actually think Slug kind of needs this. Slug doesn't really have a great third equip. Um, like he has the peer for movies or regen if you want to run Slug, I guess. Uh, he has a high strike attack equip, I believe. And then the third, he doesn't really have a third equip. I guess this could run on him since he wants to do his blue card anyway, so the Paralyze. Decent Strike and Damage to Saiyans. He doesn't have any extra Damage to Saiyans, so... I guess if you want to, like, cope, farm for Slug, but, like, for most PO units that are at least the top tier ones, this is not that good of a quip. Like, the last season one was very good. That's why it's so hard to get a good roll of it. This one, you'll probably get some decent rolls just automatically. I know Spell Smooth Damage is a hard one to roll, but, like, it's not that impossible, right? Especially when the other one was, like, a... 20 some bullshit percentage and at the lowest was five this is the lowest five highest ten it's a lot easier to roll with the lower thresholds nonetheless vegeto is still number one without cooler in the main in the game and match up can't speak good um i want to see a vegeto that's not 14 uh versus a vegeto that is 14 so we're up against one God, we're up against g4 <laughs> oh boy i'm spooked out here Alright, well. Swap? No. He probably gonna swap here. Actually, I'm gonna catch him by accident. Didn't swap. Okay, let's go for the green card. We can obviously get our gauge. Interesting to swap on that. I mean, I guess it works. It's just, you know, unneeded, I feel like. Okay. That worked. Sure. I'm dropping. Nice. Vibe out for a second. I'm not gonna drop. Maybe I should. It is what it is. Now I really want to drop. But I have no Vanish. He really doesn't want to go G4. As you can see, by the way, Ultra Vegito, uh, the 8-star one back there, not taking as little as you would hope. That's a defense. Because he is a defense type. You know, you might forget that sometimes, but he is a defense type Ultra. So, you might think he might take a little bit less. No, he took, took quite a bit, actually. Um, can I... Hmm. Can I just kill him out? Like, straight up? I don't know. I don't think I can. I haven't had a swap yet, which is... <laughs> it's pretty nice for Mr. Ultra Man here. I think I could kill him if I just do this ultimate from this point. I think i kill anybody. This is G4, still with his big cut. J just a reminder of how, like, shit G4 is. He had his big cut that entire time. He didn't lose his 80% cut. Oh, 70, 80, whatever the fuck it actually is. He didn't lose that. And look how much damage he took. <laughs> Look how long we were in with Ultra Vegeta. Like, just the entire match, basically. It literally was the entire match. Yeah. It's pretty solid. It's a pretty solid unit. Shockingly enough. I think he knew what was going to happen. Yeah, he's going to lose Vegito and uh, the defensive menace. Oh, rest his soul. <laughs> G4 was not going to put up the output. Again. Vegito is not going to fall down because he lost... An artificial thing of boost. Kind of think of the droids. I guess this is a better comparison. I keep saying it, but I really want to hit open the point that he's not going to fucking fall down because of this. Um, think about the droids. When the droids lost boost, did it matter? No, because you want to know how the droids work. They get 20% per new card landed, and then per new combo reset, they get 20% to their whole entire team. 
So they lost 15% damage inflicted on boost. I do one card to the droids, I'm back where my boost was. I literally do one card, my droids are back where they were. Sure, the defense went down, for sure. It is a defense type. And he's probably one of the only tanky units in the game. Again, excluding when he's up against Cooler, because fucking obviously he's not going to tank against Cooler. But he's one of the only tanky units in the game, and he's going to stay that way. I mean, it, it's just how it is. It's not really going to change. Vegito's still going to be Vegito. It's just units are meant to counter him out more than they were prior to with uh, Big Bad Man of uh, Mask Face. Um, so, fuck it. There was no yellow. Let me bring LF Super Vegito. Get some support. Maybe it'll help out Mr. Uh, well, Showcase Man up there because that's all we do care about. Helping him out. So if we can do it, why not? MV though, with, <laughs> with Trunks and Revpon. What's the setup going for here? I really don't know. I mean, MV's gonna take a lot. Like, he won't even heal all this off at this point because he only heals 40%. And, uh, below... Yellow is definitely below 40%, MV! <laughs> MV! You're taking a lot! No, oh, he a lot, though. Damn! What was that, like, 1.3? Good shit. I'm trying to back up, man, please. Let me be. Okay, we'll vibe. Alrighty, you go very quickly. SV does give his allies stuff when he uh, has cards done against him, I believe. What? <laughs> so, not much support is going on because how much has been done against me, unfortunately, for SV. And uh, LFSV, I guess. Ultra SV. For all of them, honestly. Trunks, don't die. Not ideal. Couldn't hear the sidestep, but I saw the sidestep. Very weird. Legends has that uh, bug still. I, I wouldn't go for mid range strikes there because it's very uh, ambitious, is the word again. Early season. What you gonna do? I'll just throw this. We'll be stupid. And it worked. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Don't wanna throw long animation green cards all willy nilly, but if you're in a footing position of I can literally throw the match and still win it, I, I think it's understandable to do. I wish I saw a little bit more support, but in reality, I didn't need the support. Envy doesn't get much stat increase on his transformation, so Envy just taking that much from Ultra Vegito kind of is a testament to his output setting, still being very good, not really changing at all, like it's been for the past two months. Nothing's changing on him. He's not falling down. What'd you expect? I still don't know. Maybe you'll Drop the expectation of him dropping to bottom 20. Maybe. <laughs> Don't think he's had that performance in this video. Just me. I thought this was a DC here. I don't know. Maybe it's not. If it isn't, sorry. Um, if it is, well, society. Okay. My card costs. God. Bullies. Oh my god, your health is so low. What happened to you? Okay. I mean, my card cost is very high, so that's neat. Did he swap? Well, that's tough. Dude, what is happening above me? Like, I understand they're on the roof, but, like, throwing shit on the roof? Is that what's happening? Because I can't really tell. Ah! Bad! Oh, it's lagging. Oh, yeah, it is lagging. Maybe I wasn't too far off on the DC or, uh, idea. Hello? Can we move? Go to cooler. No, we're not. Do you have a card? No. Why would you do that? Why don't you just go to Cooler? Frieza no brother. You know that guy? Cooler? Frieza no brother? Do you know him? Have you met him? Have you seen him? He's around. He's actually right there on your team. Hey, there he is! How you doing? Cooler! Cooler, my guy! How are we today? You're obviously neutral. That's a problem. He had a green card again. That's clearly a problem, because why do you have a second green card? Not really sure, but he did. Ha <laughs> ha, you got very lucky. One time we count off. Nice. Nice. Guess? Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful mistake. Tap. Tap. Okay. You're not neutral anymore, J just so you know, in case you forgot. That you do lose that neutral. It's not forever. Okay. Yep. Yep. 
I'll wait for you if you're gonna wait for me. Sure, why not? We can wait together! Okay, I'm bored of waiting. Awesome. Let's do this. I mean, Cooler would die. So if you want to go to Cooler, you, you have fun with that. I'm gonna just thrive in his death. Alright, cool. I get it, cool. <laughs> oh no! Well, I forgot this happens. Tapion looks very squishy, by the way, in this match. Um, this is... <gasps> oh! That's a lot less than I thought it'd be. Okay. I'm, I'm seeing some things prior to my own video of these units, and, uh... Honestly, I'm not liking what I'm seeing, because some of these things look pretty spooky. <laughs> and, uh, spooky in a bad sense. Kind of worrying, actually. Just don't want to rush them. Don't feel the need to. Yet. <laughs> that could easily change! Okay. I'm gonna sidestep now. Woo! Nice! Oh, oh. Nice. Uh, good thing I'm not locked in, so... I'm gonna get the fuck out now and not lose my Ultra Vegeta because, uh, showcase. And VB probably dies. So sad. Such a sad reality. Alright, cool. is pretty good. Shockingly enough, the number one unit is pretty good in PvP. And he is, uh, giving me some trouble. Thankfully, because we've had no trouble this entire video. We need some trouble. Trouble and make it double, actually. Oh, it's lagging. Stop. Okay, goodbye. Okay, just kidding. Did he PV that? That's tough. Alrighty. Infinite combo me. You won't do much, to be real, but you'll stall me out. So that's a, that's a negative here. And my card cost. Hello, 90 million card cost. Can we go down? Anytime. Thank you, Card Cost, for going down. I appreciate it. Big fan. Big fan. You done? You done? What was the thought process on that? I actually have no idea. But hey, you gave me a free uh, situation here. Alright. Goodbye, Cooler. Frieza, no brother. I kind of wish I did the blue card, but it's okay. Oh, do I land that? I think you're dead. No, I think you're dead. Oh, I thought I'd be a dc -er. End up being a good match. Nice! Some trouble there, but the fusion prevailed because Tapion was so fucking squishy. That was actually insane. Um, that was actually pretty insane how squishy he was. I don't think he was 14. It's really squishy, though. Cooler on Saiyans. And again, no yellow, so LFSV, please support me so I can do work. And uh, Cooler, don't nuke me. Two things I asked for. Please let them happen. Appreciate you. Thank you. Very helpful already. Uh, Dragon Man, you want to come in? That's a lot. That's a lot that he's taking. Alright. 2.1? That's a low HP as well. Seeing some not great numbers here. Throw this. Awesome. It's a one cover and all wasted from Dragon Man, which is already good enough for me. Tap again. What? I don't think that was on purpose from him? It wasn't on purpose for me. It worked out, though. Let's beat some cooler ass here. I don't think Dragon Man's back. I, I don't think correctly is my uh, diagnosis on that. I sidestep. What? I'm spamming. All right, that sucks. This damage is not it from Dragon Fist. Jesus. That is not damage that I just saw. That was bad. Oh, God. Makes me worried. I know mine's 14, so obviously it's gonna be fucking different, but like, that makes me worried for my video on him. Truly. Okay, tap out. Tap again. Awesome. Go to L. Oh, Ultra, not LF. Let's just rush here. Free rush. Get it out of the way. I mean, it makes sense to sack him off, but like, damn. <laughs> Uh, you know, my diagnosis, such a stupid word to say for it, but I guess, diagnosis for it, pre-using them, is Tapion, barely's out of top 10, again, this is obviously pre-using them, I'll know more after I use them, and Dragon Fist is barely top 15 after using them without boost. That's my, just, assumption what's gonna happen. And not from these matches, just like, you know, what I'm seeing here. No, it's just, like, what I figure is gonna happen. If I'm right, awesome. I don't want to be right. Why? What? Yeah, cooler. He literally counters my team. What? And MV. He could have one-shot me. 
Like, Envy probably could have one-shot Vegito. That would have been nice to see if he actually lives a Majin Vegeta's blue card post-main. Well, that actually would have been awesome. Can you imagine he did? <laughs> Ultra Vegito, Jesus. I kind of doubt he would, actually. He has no defensiveness on this setup. I mean, he doesn't need. He's not. Like, he, he's fine. <laughs> but that's a hard-hitting blue card with especially some build-up. But nonetheless, we'll do one more match, wrap it up. You see no difference. I see no difference. He's still a top-tier unit. Again, meta circumstance lowers his value. But as an individual unit, you can't lower his value because he doesn't lose any individual value as himself. He's still as good as he once was three days ago, four days ago, whenever Cooler dropped, to where he is now. Drill time. Last match up against the future. I expect no different outcome as the ones subsequent to this. Let's get our outcome that we want. A win. Hopefully. Oh, he only has uh, blast cover changes. I didn't mean to drop at all, but yep, I did. Oh, can I dash forward? Please, don't lag. Why would you swap on that? Okay. And he has a blue. Okay. <laughs> Lag, swaps on random shit, and has a blue. Alright. And that just has a random green. Alright, dude. Well, what is this? <laughs> what is this goofy shit? <laughs> Let's go quickly since we are neutral. Beat the fuck out of you. You're gonna swap into Vegeta. Woo! Not Vegeta! <laughs> Thought it was Vegeta. Not Vegeta. Oh, dude, the lag. Oh, we're actually doing this, huh? Early season? Come on. Come on. We, we ain't with that, right? Surely we're not actually doing something funny there. Surely we're just playing the game. It's just lagging by accident. Right? Come on. Legends isn't that deep. <laughs> Are you surprised? <laughs> the shit people do to play this game. <laughs> It is interesting. Can't say that much. Can I can I pop stuff, please? Shucks, I missed. Oh shucks again. Interesting. Why not swap? Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, I can't wrap it up with a tight little bow. Well, yes, I can. Vegeta wouldn't die very quickly. Oh, no, 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 nope, I can't. Okay. Fun lag on that one, obviously, because legends, that, that's why. Overall, clearly you see no differential in Ultra Vegito. Again, nothing about him has changed individually. He is still a top, top, top tier individual unit. The game's 3v3, though, so he falls down a little bit because Cooler exists, but even so... He is still amazing. He's not going to move from his placement at least anytime soon with nothing actually coming out. Maybe he gets more countered for sure, but like individually, he still retains his own value. Like Kaioken still has very good value on his own. Is it less than the other ultras? Yes. Does it make him necessarily bad? No, but in a 3v3 sense, yes, because he has nothing around him. You get what that means? Vegito has very good units around him, still two top 10 units around him, even so he could just leave us on somewhere. Again, his drawback is just what he is. A Super Saiyan, a yellow. That's his only drawbacks, not actual kit, which that's what matters with the units aging. Love any ice, well, for the most part, obviously, with him being yellow, it does hurt him, but his aging will still be fine at this point. Love any ice think of Ultra Vegeta without tier boost. I'll see you guys in the next one.